Conference USA last year. San Jose State um, is in the Mountain West. They're a bottom team in the Mountain West. Um, and then we could play Vermont again. I mean, I mean, it's just, there's nothing easy. And then it's Syracuse, Michigan State, and Boise State. Oh, with road trips to Cleveland right. State and Fort Wayne, too. And we, we opened the league against the two teams that finished tied for first last year, both on the road. So there's nothing out there that you're looking, oh, we can get healthy. If we can just get to this game, we can have fun and get healthy. There's, that, that's not there. It's a real grind. And uh, we've got to be able to handle it, handle disappointment, handle success, get better and move on. And on December 1st, we have to be the best version we can be for an early season game. Uh, camp on Saturday, too. You talked about Eastern Michigan in town at 3 o'clock at the arena, Amani Bates, uh, everything that, that's going on with Eastern Michigan. And, you know, it, all around the city, uh, college basketball fans, all of it doesn't matter who they root for, they, they're aware of this game. People have talked about it. I see it, stuff that I do, people bringing it up. You know, Rocket and Amani, it's got almost like an NBA feel to it. Uh, I mean, you have two legendary high school players uh, on their comebacks. You know, went off, didn't go the way they wanted it to go. They're back at, at the local schools, and this should be something special. And, I, you know, they, I think we'll probably be sold out. I think there'll be a lot of media there and a lot of – there'll be a lot of uh, – it's one of the reasons I think Jalen wants to play. You know, I mean, I tried to shut him down for this week, and he really wants to play in that game. And uh, I don't. I think we'll have as, as much hype for a game that was not Michigan State that we've played in many, many years, many, more than even the Detroit games. I think we'll have that type of hype. I would agree with you. I mean, is it on Channel Twenty? It is. Yeah. Yeah, on Channel 20, ESPN, uh, ESPN Plus, the whole bit there. I mean, it is El Camp. And, and look, I'm not like trying to oversell it or anything like that. It is a topic of discussion in the sports world in Detroit. It is. So I'm going to take a COVID test Friday night. Hope that it's positive. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let somebody run the show. <laughs> uh, and then certainly, obviously, that. Uh, that, that leads into the uh, the Nassau Championship, but we will be back at it next Monday. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll take a deeper look in that. You can kind of talk to us about how that game would be and yeah. playing in the Bahamas and stuff like that. So, but certainly. We'll uh, and I'm going to try and either have Rocket or Keaton or Lauren, one of the three newcomers, you know, next Monday. And then every Monday, I'll, I'll, like we did last year with the players, I thought that was a really good segment. We'll, we'll uh, Giz wanted to do that this Week. And I said, no, I, I know you guys just wanted to hear me. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a great campy show. That's you right. Know, I yeah. rate, highly rated. High, the highest rated show <laughs> on this station at this time for seven years running. Whatever yeah. station whatever station we've been on. we got a final uh, a couple minutes here uh, on the show, Cam. Anything else? I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, the show's fun and, and we laugh and that, but I, I can't tell you how disappointed I am in, in the start. And uh, got to get by it. You know, we just got to get by it because we know that the league starts December 1st. We think we have a very talented roster and uh, we just got figured out. And if we do, we got there. Hopefully we can get it figured out by the 1st of December. If not, we got to get it figured out sometime in the new year. And we will. I, I believe we will because I think our kids are great kids. Now, I, one of the things, and, you know, I know, People sitting in this room want to hear this. I don't think the media cares or, or, you know, an average fan base cares. But I think the people who really care or want to hear this is I got great kids. I don't have good kids. I got great kids. And it makes going to practice. As you get older, that's important as a coach. I, I would be honest, it wasn't that important when I first was in the business. You know, I, you know you're here on scholarship. And if you want to be an asshole, you go ahead and be one. I'll figure it out. You know, and, and and can I say that on you? Uh, that, I think you can. <laughs> can I? You're a producer, can I? Yeah. Be careful with the word. Okay. <laughs> be careful with the word. Oh, hopefully, he, he muted that. Um, <laughs> oh, we got. You know, we can't give Greg Hessen. We can't give him like a layup. You know? Yeah, it's his first show. He's yeah, got. He's, he better be listening. Bit. Yeah. We don't have uh, that one. So. <laughs> so, um, you know, but I just it, I felt that way back back in those days. You know, I was young and. And uh, it was all about winning and building a program and building, you know, now it's more about, you know, I, I want to be around good kids. I want to be around good people and I want to be around coachable kids. And, 
I know Smitty over there, and I talk about that all the time. Kids that are coachable and recruiting, and maybe maybe not, you know, this kid might be a little more talented. But, you know, there, there was a kid we played recently that we probably could have gone after in the, in the transfer portal, and we decided not to. Um, and a lot of it had to do with one of my staff members knew an assistant at the school he was coming from, and it didn't have a lot of good things to say about him. And so we backed off and the kid's doing pretty well right now. My guess is by the end of the season, he'll be who he is, but we just, you know, we've, we've made a conscious effort to really have good kids around us. And we do, I mean, it is, they're fantastic kids. Um, I don't, I do not have a prima donna. I do not have a kid that I wouldn't put in my car, take somewhere and sit down, go have dinner with. So uh, I'm pleased with him. Uh, lastly, and I brought this up with uh, Smitty on one of the pregame show, I believe for the Oklahoma State game, where I kind of asked about Trey Townsend and what you guys did with him on the, on the Bowling Green game, you know, just running a play over and over and over again, and it was there. And then into Sunday, too, you know, he went at Moose as he said. I mean, it, it didn't matter to him, the size and things like that. He's He plays so much bigger than his size. Can't yeah, it? it's nice that you said that, but I don't think we did it enough. <laughs> When I say we're going to put some more sets and we got to get him the ball more. Um, we just, we just do. I mean, he's, he, he's a guy that wants to be Robin and I got to make him Batman. He's got to be Batman. He can't be Robin. He's got to be the Green Hornet or Ponto or the Long Ranger, I guess. Here we go He's got, he, that's who he's got to be. And before he's out of here, we got to make him that. And, We've got to get the ball in his hands more at the important times. All right, Campbell. Well, certainly appreciate everybody coming out here to the Greg Campy Show live at RJ's Pub in Rochester Hills. We'll be back here next Monday, same time, same channel. Thanks for listening to the Greg Campy Show. Well, see you later. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it, man. Uh, so thanks, Greg. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. All right.